All right. What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today. I'm going to continue the Valheim fresh character speedruns. Where we try and beat the game as fast as possible. With a new character on a new seed. With no glitches. So it's new game, random seed glitch to all bosses. I have the current world record. What's up, Kakpo? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. My PB is the current world record, and it is on the screen right now. It's 8 hours, 16 minutes, and 9 seconds. Sub 5 hours is definitely possible. And... Saving six hours of my PB will be easy. Um, sorry, shaving two hours off my PB, getting it down to being six hours something, um, will be easy. It's just going to require a lot of commitment. Gameplay wise. Getting this eight hour run down to six hours something is not challenging. The strats are perfect for that, for a six hour ish run. It's just going to be a case of grinding the RNG. So you can skip this intro. By logging out and logging back in again. But we're not going to do that. Because you do actually explore this part of the map that you fly over with the Valkyrie. What's up, Bevo? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. It's going great, thanks. is pretty close what's up fluffy thanks for stopping by i hope you're doing good dude Hope you guys are having a good time on the server. What's up, Scal? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. Alright, well, sorry, remember, I'm actually going to do this. Um. Because, yeah, it turns out we can turn 
queuing off in the chat console. We're just typing it on command. Which means we are allowed to do it. Just missed him. Should have made a melee or something. Getting a little bit unlucky finding deer right now. Should be able to uh, pretty good flint down here without going to the coast. We've got a couple of four as well, so that's good. Oh, we got a couple of deer here also. trophy over there one two three four five six Sure where that deer went to, but okay. Oh, that's good. shed definitely gonna loot the shed this is going pretty good it's not the fastest uh trophy 
get. But we're doing very good for leather. What's up, Zen? Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing good. It is a good run so far, yeah. Not bad, certainly. Here we go. Trophy, please. Yes, nice. He heard me. Praise Odin. Praise him. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Thanks for watching the stream, guys. I appreciate it. We could have actually looted that because that honey I mean because we do could actually use more wood but that wood's not gonna gain us resin so it's not a huge deal actually What's up, 970? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. That was actually a nutty elder fight, uh, eek there fight. I'm happy with that. That was really good. Five minutes ahead of world record at this point now. So I'll call that a win for this segment. So, 
We do have some black forest to the southeast. Let's go. Oh, we should get eek there first. Forgot about that. I think that's good. Very good. You need some wood so we can go for this honey as well. What's up, Twig? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. We still need a lot more wood. Let's say there's probably no point in making a bow at this point. But premature, we might have to cross water before we do elder. So. What's up, Alfie? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, dude. I think we left some mushrooms here. All right, this is a good start. We should get as much resin as we can on the way. We do really want to make the most out of being in a meadows at the start with the resin. Yeah, we are cruising. Oh, more leather as well. This is going... This is actually pretty much perfect so far, this run, honestly. In that we're not... Cru cruising is actually a good way to put it, Twig. Because we're kind of... If So, at this point in the run, it's almost better to just be cruising, consistently making progress. Than it is to everything to be as fast and as better as possible because you'll just wind up not having enough resin or not having enough weather. You want a nice, good pace, but consistently getting the items. And that is exactly what's happening. And we're still, you know, five minutes ahead of record, so. We're getting low resin drop rates for some reason. <clears throat> We've got plenty of time to make up for that though. 20 is good at this point. Oh, more leather even.
We never really want more than 50 wood. 50 wood's too much even. Most of the time. But. We're obviously collecting resin, not wood. This is good resin though, at this point. We know we're going to end up with a lot of resin, right? It's just... I would really like to get to modder with like a hundred resin or something. That would be amazing. I would much rather arrows end up being the bottleneck than resin. Not arrows, sorry. Feathers. Do you hear crows? I don't see them. That was a brilliant drop break. Did you see that? Five resin. Saplings are nuts. It's just so RNG. Oh, I thought that was a, a boar then. I feel like there's actually a burial chamber in this meadows. Oh, oh there we go. Um... <laughs> Five resin? This is the run. Hell yeah. Wait. Look at him run. Alright. Uh, they should end up fighting each other. Should give us enough time to get a bed down here. I like the attitude. This is the run. Ninjas. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, dude. More ball there. There is no enemies, right? Oh. Grayling's still alive. Is that close enough? Graylings are the resin you can't sleep yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> where, where was those four again? It's over here, wasn't it? Oh, what did they? Oh no, here we go. I was gonna say they should have stayed. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, 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 no. It isn't, it isn't, it isn't.
game was just lying to me. Alright. Let's do this. This is looking good. I had enough for bow and for... Let's try and get this done whilst we've got rested. Oh god. I'm dead. I, I completely messed up there. Right, this is going to be the only chamber we need, hopefully, chat. I'll take that and that. Okay. Really? Trying to make the most out of this Fortron. Hell yeah. Tomorrow made it happen, I think. <laughs> I appreciate that. I hope we find it too. I think we kind of did almost have already. Nice call. Oh, he can reach me there, can he? Hello? All right. This door. What's this door? Alright, this is everything we need. There's a cause and stuff. We're not getting very good loot for arrows. And we could do to find the elder, but. Still very good. See, I could hear that there was multiple skeletons there. So I was just trying to wait for my stamina to regen before I moved. Right, then I was baiting the archer to shoot. Because they'll only shoot every certain amount of time. They have kind of a few seconds. Hmm. Alright, GG. Chambers and Crypt are some of the least favorite part of the game. Looking forward to the new Mountain Cave. So, oh yeah, the Mountain Cave is going to be awesome. Alright, hopefully we just... Um... We just find the Eldor nat naturally. On a tower. Without having to go to burial chambers. Or we just spot his spawner or something. It'd be great if that was the last burial chamber we have to do. I would really 
really like that to be true. <laughs> Uh, it's very misty. Yikes. Thanks for talking about the stream, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a good day. Let's go this way. Oh, God. All right, let's wait for stamina a little bit. That's a good amount of arrows to find there. Feathers. Okay. No elder. Dodges. All right. Yep, I'm streaming again. Been working on some videos. And I did an interview on a Swedish podcast. Pretty cool. Don't fight me. You've got freaking Braid Wolf right next to you, bro. Fight him. All right. Um. We want that one fine wood to gradually at least end up with enough fine wood for a campfire. pretty good for mats and stuff we um could just do with a lot more black forests uh maybe if we cut across this mountain uh this is an rsg run i only do rsg runs really i rarely do ssg Stop him by the stream though, Doink. I hope you're doing good.
Yeah, this is resulting in more Black Forest, so that's good. You meant New Game Plus? I mean, I can't really do New Game Fresh Character Runs. Oh, hell yeah. You got an above ground elder. That's awesome. Oh, hell yeah. We got resin in the barrel as well. That's epic. I can't really do new game plus and new game fresh character runs. If I'm doing these fresh character runs, which are orders of magnitude more popular um, and more difficult. If I'm doing these, I, ca I, I can't really also do new game plus these, these things just require so much time and effort it's hard for me to do both but once i'm uh, happy with my pb with this category i might do some more new game plus runs But chat somehow thinks, seems to think very short term with everything. Like I I don't stream for a couple of days and I've not been streaming for a million years. I don't run something for a couple of weeks. I'll never run it ever again. I think very long term. I, I'm, I run everything in this game really. But right now I'm focusing on this because it's the most request requested speed run in the comments and I'm really enjoying it because it presents a decent challenge level to me but we'll definitely do some new game plus again in the future That was the resin jackpot for sure. Yeah, I can only really do one thing at once, you know. Obviously, more people want more crazy videos. I can't stream 365 days a year. And do those. I have to take days just to edit videos. To, to work on those kind of videos. Because they're obviously not easy to make. <laughs> And um, yeah, I can only do one crazy speedrun category at once, if you know what I mean. I could run do multiple ones at once if it were smaller categories. Doink, thank you so much for the fifteen dollars super chat. I really appreciate it, dude. Hope you're doing good. He says, just supporting the content. I'm gonna go watch Return of the Jedi now. Nice. Enjoy the movie, dude. Let me know how you find it. I've not watched that one yet. <laughs> What's up, sleep? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. C speed run. <laughs> C is rough. Yeah. <laughs> Roo. So I'm hoping we get all three seeds on this uh, uh, island with the elder on it. Otherwise, I won't be happy, chat. Just saying. Just saying. Come on, Odin, please. Everyone pray to RN Jesus, okay? Praise our and Jesus. Praise him. Praise him. We need those three ancient seeds right next to the elder.
<laughs> it's definitely true. Yeah. The way to fix it, you ha everyone has to blow on the screen at the same time. And it makes the raft go as fast as the long ship. Just got to do it all at the same time, chat. You ready? Three, two, one. You're not doing it. You must, you're obviously all not doing it because it didn't work. Let's definitely pull into this meadows here. I'm not going straight into some leeches. Need a serpent to help give it a push. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I, I know I can definitely get it to sub five hours, dude. I appreciate that. I know I totally understand that. Just gonna take a bit of grinding, you know? I'll get there eventually. But I, I agree. I, I agree. For the look, I appreciate that. He's a roof. I am wet. Thanks for, for Nuka. I appreciate that. Thanks for the luck. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks again, Doink, for that $15 super chat. That's awesome, dude. It's for helping keep the content alive. Any more arrows? Looking forward to DeepMind doing a tool assisted speedrun of Valheim. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see something like that. I've thought about like trying to figure it out myself, but it's only so much time in the day, you know? But, like tool assisted would be, I would actually love someone to do it. <laughs> figure out all the meta. Uh. 
<laughs> that would be really cool, Rex. I love stuff like that. Well. That's really good that we've got a fast bed. I didn't need to loot this, by the way. I actually initially only came to do the bed. And then I just went on autopilot to loot the chest. <laughs> so I risked my life for no reason, but luckily we had a spawn now. Um... This is basically perfect elder location. We just need seeds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that super essential deer hide. We're not, we're not killed bone mass yet, but we will. Trying to find the seeds to summon the Elder next. The run's really good so far. Thanks, MLS. World record pace. It's not looking good with these ancient seeds, but I have faith. Uh, we found, yeah, yeah, we're looking for a grade war spawner, yeah. Damn, dude. Really? Should be able to find ancient seeds in this black forest. Um, we're doing a speed run. We don't need a base. I'm just wondering how many brutes we can maybe get. need a base on the speed run. I know what I'm doing. It's best for chat to not give advice in general. Do you mean you're not cranking 90s?
Sounds like someone wants a ban. Alright, we've got a couple of cunts. See ya. No second chances. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Yeah. I don't care. Well, we could explore the island for another black forest, I guess. Zone over there. It still could be really good. Do 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 do. If we get three in here, it's going to be really good still. Really good pace still. Yeah, people just instantly get banned for life for just seeming annoying in my chat. Because me not doing that is selfish on the behalf of the person that's annoying. And behalf of me. Because... If I don't know somebody and they instantly just seem annoying, right? Every time they type a message after that, all I'm going to be doing is being sus of whether they're just a troll or not. Just because they made a bad first impression. And every time somebody does annoy me, it makes the content slightly more annoying for the viewer to watch. Not the annoying viewer who thinks it's all about them. I'm talking about everybody else watching is just thinking, what's going on here? Is this is it being trolled? Is it not being trolled? Or even if they're not thinking about that, they're thinking like, well, Nick's obviously annoyed now. So I, I watch this stream to relax and have a good time. Nick is in his usual nice self. What's going on? So best to for everyone to just be nice friendly i don't care if it's just a joke you you did it wrong if i misinterpreted it i don't care good people make a good first impression always i've been doing this for six years it's a hundred percent how it goes usually if someone's annoying out the gate they're annoying forever most people are good people and they're good right away But anything else is just a distraction. You're going to cause me to get less world records, do worse runs, put on a worse show for the chat. So I don't care anymore. Zero tolerance for people that ruin the content. <laughs> Not personal. It's just this is actually my job and you make me do it worse. So see ya. All right, we've almost got all three seeds. It's working out, chat. If we get really lucky and get a brute that drops one, that'd be great.
What's the rules for this chat? For this cat? Um, you gotta start a fresh character. New game. Play on a random seed. No glitches. No doubt. No dev commands during the run. No viewing the seed online on a map view or anything. And no third party software or game file manipulation or anything like that. You got to do it in a single segment. That's pretty much 99% of it. Thanks for talking about the stream though, because I hope you're doing good, dude. Nice, I'm glad you're good. Mm. I don't remember. Yes, I guess there was one troll. Yeah, there was one troll, I think. The speedrun does have to be in one session, yeah. So a 10 hour run had a six seed, but bone mass stone sent you the wrong way. Maybe. doing pretty good loot wise here so we're still making progress do i see a shipwreck no i don't <clears throat> we lost pretty much two hours on my current PB. Pretty much to just bad mob spawns in on the mountain and being in a mistlands before the mountain. I mean, I can't really seal as... I, I'm a moderator of the speedrun page. I can't really seal as add in uh, segmented runs. It doesn't need to exist. People can do segmented and upload it to YouTube of their own accord without them being on speedrun.com, you know? Um, now, I'm not the only one that has a say, but I just... I. You know, I obviously know the other moderators. I can't see it happening, really. I don't. I don't know why that would happen. But you never know. Yes. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Never say never, though, with anything with speedrun or speedrun categories. Obviously, every game in speedrun community evolves over time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pr pretty much free, free range YouTube category. I mean, yeah, the, there's literally that's what speedrunning isn't all about. Speedrun.com, you know, it's whole history of video games that pe people can just do whatever they want with their video game <laughs> record it put it on youtube that's what i do with my challenges you know
still cool to watch. I don't think pe people that watch my speedruns necessarily care that they're verified on speedrun.com, you know. I think maybe um, one day they might, you know, like when... I think, it, you know, like when a game is such a popular speedrun game that people actually really pay attention to the leaderboards, it's probably a little bit different. A Minecraft. Firstly, as a viewer, I, I wouldn't like segmented runs. Um, similar to Diablo 2, people did. They weren't really that interesting. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think obviously um, sort of two separate things, right? Like what people want to watch and what people want to run. And um, yeah, I think that makes sense that, that people also want to see a, uh, a single segment run. For sure. Well, obviously doing segmented in your spare time just for fun. Stick it on YouTube. Nothing wrong with that. Good practice. True. That is true. That is. It is a bit of a remnant of old internet. It's very true. Like speedrunning matures every year, it feels like, as a thing. It was a long time where segmented was more of a thing than what it is now. But obviously it makes the shorter a game category gets, the less sense it makes as well. Yeah, it does add them. Plus, fire damage actually stacks now. Um, so, the more fire damage you do, um, The more DPS the fire does. That was actually a lot of damage that we did there. We got a really close spawn, so we can potentially abuse our corpse run a little bit more than usual. That's really not good. No, he pushed one into me. That's bullshit, dude, please. What? He's nuts.
Oh, it's nuts when he does these really close range like that. I did set him on fire actually before he destroyed it. Alright, we got pretty good root spawns there. Skeleton stunned me, so I couldn't get the chud dodge at the right time. Multiple damage, damage. Uh, sorry, multiple campfires would cause more damage now. Yeah. Oh god, a root spawned in my face, that's not good. We have no wood, I assume. In fact, we should get him to destroy that forward thing here. Yeah. I was going to want some forward, anyways. Dude, really? are in the way. Skeleton, dude. You never normally have skeletons like this because the Grey Dwarfs always take care of them. Nice. This is still going really good, though. Don't, don't get it twisted, chat. Why? And now we can't make a fire again. We could potentially try and get him to mine some copper as well. Oh, 
Why did I even die? Oh, there. Um... Would it be a good or a bad change for the game in your opinion if boss health would be reset to full when all players die? Um... It could be good for if they had a difficult setting for that to be on one of the harder settings or something. I, I don't. I think a lot of casual players would hate that. Oh god, messed up my dodge. Like there, there there's a bunch of players that think this game is really hard as it is. So, bunch of casual players. I think. A game like Valheim doesn't have to be hard at all. Um, just has to be fun and engaging. And but I do think it would be good if there was different modes that are harder. Um, like one of my personal pet peeves is uh, people talking about hardcore runs as if there is hardcore already. Because I actually would just like it to add a hardcore mode, which doesn't necessarily need to be like the hardcore mode of any other game, does it? It could look like anything. But I would actually like to see that. And, um, you know, different difficulty settings, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, the different harder like difficulty settings and stuff, yeah. Um,. I'm always up for more options. But I don't think they should alienate more casual players because I think those are most of the sales of the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright. Eight minutes behind world record for Elder, but... Our loot is much better. So, really. We're fine. I think it would be cool if the map was handcrafted as well. Let's get the rest of the copper. Nice one. Nice one, Miguel.
Yeah, I mean, I think it's fine for there to be certain games that where, where they do. The game is made for hardcore gamers that just want everything to be a challenge, you know? That's fine as its own, like, market. But I think if you're making a game, like, where you want it to have mass appeal and stuff. Um... I think most games thrive when they have a lot of players because it's a big incentive for the developers to keep working on it and make the best game they can. Keeps everyone honest kind of when there's a lot of players. And I, I, and I don't think you get there by making the hardest thing ever. It's just got to be fun. But I think in that scenario, different modes to make something hard is fine. I, don't, I can't see how anyone, anyone would have a problem with that. And yeah, like, they could definitely make it so that the bosses had more health on, on like, a harder difficulty. Well, Flappy Bird was free. And it was a mobile game. It's a totally different thing. I love it when you say something in the chat and there's always someone that wants to figure out a way to prove you wrong no matter what you say. Hilarious. Alright. That game also ceased to exist very quickly <laughs> we have no idea what a, a big lifespan of that would look like um do i just leave to get more wood might be worth it Probably is worth it. But there's always anomalies to everything anyway. Like, obviously we're, we're not talking about Flappy Bird, are we? We're talking about making Valheim harder. This is a totally different thing. I already said that it makes sense that there's like a market for hard games. But Valheim sold a shitload of copies already. Literally, people all the time complain about how hard it is. And fewer people complain about how easy it is, but some, some people do. But if you just made the game harder, you obviously alienate a bunch of people that bought your game already. And you can do both by having a difficulty setting. Which is what 90% of the games that have ever been made do. How hard do you think Candy Crush is as well if you want to 
<laughs> Stop being like that. How much wood have we got now? I still need more, really. Well, so Sophia, thanks for watching the stream. I appreciate that. Good one. might actually can just come back because hopefully I don't know we might be able to use some of this stuff here we might as well try and build a base Got to spawn down and sleep. So we don't get any wraiths. Honestly, probably best to just die at this point because we'll end up just gonna waste in maps and waste in resin and stuff. Just keep in. Using torches and stuff on him. Better should just use corpse run.
isn't a waste anyway, so we're obviously getting resin here. We're doing extremely good with resources and stuff. You don't need that, but pretty easy to get more of. Got a receipt for my university tuition, but they didn't take my money. Infinite education glitch. Nice. But about to get the free education world record. Alright, I hear a spawn, so... That means you could have bone mass. I'm trying to sort of flick the camera around, see if you can see any red. Nah, it's not the right kind of room, is it? It is the right kind of room. Free stuff though. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's it's there. It's not. Okay. Oh shit! I didn't think you could get me there. I couldn't see it. My feet. That's good, we got withered bone, we got some decent arrows. Probably worth setting up at this crypt then. I think there was another crypt too, right? At least so. Let's commit to this.
<laughs> Alright, nobody snitch on depression. He's found the hacks for free education. Alright, I think there might be a bone mass rune in here. Sometimes you can kind of get a glisten in the... Yep, in the iron uh, scrap pile. Uh, oh shit, I didn't realize he could actually reach me there. Uh, so we kind of just kind of get a glisten in there. Um, of red. Please. Oh, I'm dead. No, we're good. Oh, there's another one. I'm dead. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone for the other one as well. Uh, you've never needed a copper axe to farm iron. You've always been able to do it with a uh, antler pick. Alright, this is this is good chat. Oh, it's quite far away, but still good though. We might actually be able to find some other bosses on the way potentially. Is there no rocks to destroy? Oh, there's one there. I want to be able to put a kill him down. Where am I in the run? I killed the second boss. And I just found the location of the third boss. So I'm preparing to fight the third boss now. Still world record pace, really, so... It's locking out to remove the poison damage.
Time to go. Thanks for the lock. I appreciate that, dude. All right. Did I? Yeah, fine. What is what I dropped? Got the call wood as well. No, I never use shields in the speed run. But I mean, if you got absolutely amazing RNG, like maybe you actually would. But it's not really much time and time saving a shield. But it's not like it's not impossible. I'll put it that way to to end up. Oh, damn! I almost dropped my fifty resin by accident. That's close. Well, I did drop it, but um, it's probably worth going back. collect wood from the black forest it would be great the resin is for torches and fire arrows There was a load of wood that we left somewhere. Maybe, I think it despawned. Oh my god, really? That's the stuff that we dropped right there, I think.
We only need like 21 wood for now. We're just going to get the coal going and then... We keep looting. Try and get another instant stack of uh, iron. If we can sleep. Oh, I'm wet again. The rain is in a weird angle right now, it seems like. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, really. Alright, whatever. Let's just loot. We have enough iron to fill one smelter anyways. So What we want ideally is like a treasure room. This is a chest room, isn't it? Looks like. Basically any room with a chest in it is what we want, but treasure rooms are obviously better. Get more chests. Alright, uh... Uh, I think I'm dead. No, we're good. I think I am dead though, because I'm stuck. Oh my god. Right. Uh, this, this is, we're doing really good for... Poison arrows, 27 is a shitload. So our modder segment is on pace to be way faster than we'll record. Half of the withered bones that we need as well. Some more there. Um. The vegan dilate like freeze squeeze through the gap. Screw Richard. Right, I think there's more. Crypts. So. you can get a tree down before my axe breaks should be able to uh, might be able to save a lot of time here it's about to be night time if we can get 21 wood a uh, coal sorry before night time then we can change this into a smelter and then instantly get 10 iron made well not 10 we've got some copper to make as well but 10 ingots made so we actually should wait for a sec until we get that uh 
I suppose we could gather wood in the meantime. We only need one. <laughs> but a little tiny bit of extra time saved by getting wood. <laughs> No need to do the chair trick. Doesn't save any time. But there's also not a lot on this category anyway. Like clips are really the main thing that's not allowed in Glitchless in Valheim. It's faster to use auto pickup most of the time. Okay, so now. We want wood again. We almost. We might be able to get 21 wood quickly here actually without moving about forest back something's got here but... we can just do this for now Oh no, we can't do that. We have to do this first. And then do this. Another crypt. Turning auto pick up off and on is really good that they added it. But the thing is, on a speed run, it's so easy to forget that you've turned it off. And it can actually kill runs in an instant when you have it off when you destroy your boat. So I never use it. I used to turn it on and off all the time. But like sometimes as well it, it feels like kind of slow to change when you press a button I feel as well. I don't know. No one has ever replied to you. Oh, sorry to hear that, bro. Welcome to the channel. I'll I'll try and reply to every message, unless it's too annoying to reply to. <laughs> Used to reply to everyone, though. It's getting harder the more viewers we get, obviously, but I always try. Oh, my God. Uh... Oh, it's a shame that I used all my water. I could actually have trapped this guy. 
I think there is another crypt, right? We don't have to kill this guy necessarily. We might find instantly what we want in the other crypt. Wasn't there another one? No, actually, maybe not. How much iron do we need before moving on? Uh, 20, I think. Not a lot. Close. Thanks, Rolanda, so I appreciate that. Appreciate the lock. Thanks for talking about the stream. Well, we obviously need uh, Withered Bone as well, so we're kind of multitasking a bit. Should just be able to axe this guy with ports run. Because we'll heal. Like, archers can't shoot very quickly. You'll heal before they can one shot you. That's cool, Wolf. Alright, we got seven for the bone, which is pretty good. It's not really that much, is there, in this place? Looks like we're going this way either way, doesn't it? So, yeah, if you jump on top of these scrap piles, they can't get you. And you can kind of use it if you hold the block button and point at this wall, it will make your character kind of turn the right direction. And you can kind of. Find your way in. Without having to fight. Bone mass increases your defense, so and it uh, makes you constantly restore health. Uh, what did I just say? Corpse run. Sorry, I accidentally destroyed that. That's annoying. Corpse run. Um, increases your health regen and your damage resistance. Hang on. Oh, we don't have a hammer to do this. Maybe it's faster to make a hammer though. You have stone. A 
Wait, did it? I don't know. No, it's not going to be faster because we don't have a... We don't have a thingy down, do we? We don't have a crafting table anyway, so we can't do it with just a hammer. We can get our stuff back. I'm stuck now, it's so annoying. We only have to dodge every other attack really to survive this. Now we've got Colts run. But yeah, look, if you check, um, Corpse Run makes you resistant, and it also, uh, it says it reduces your stamina usage. It's funny how sometimes people get things backwards in this game, in, when they say things, certain things in the chat. But yeah, it doesn't actually restore your stamina, it just makes it so you use less. Um, but it, but it, it also heals you over time. But yeah, you can always check the status effect. Oh hell yeah, that's literally exactly what we needed. Um, right, it doesn't. We didn't get. Iron in a chest, but we're pretty close to the iron as well. Let's just finish off mining enough iron. I think we actually have enough. I think we have more than 10 actually, but. Alright, we Gucci. We have, that is so many flint arrows and oh okay all right don't panic nobody panic we make it destroy this tree this is actually potentially good okay destroy this please thank you Of course, there's an ooze coming as well. Yeah, they can be annoying if they're just in the wrong spot. We're not going to have the mats to make a bonfire, fortunately. But I do want him to still destroy 
We're getting mobbed by so many high level mobs. This is a joke. So unfair. Fucking bullshit. Why did the game just turn into bullshit in seconds? Two two star skeletons, an oozer, and an abomination. All at the same time. Ah, oh, God. The mob RNG sometimes is brutal on runs. But this is all fine. This is all fine. It's not really got much to worry about. We do actually... Like, this is the next best thing to finding a troll. To, um... Put down some ancient trees for us. So this is fine. But still, mob RNG. Oof. It's a big oof. Crazy. <laughs> I had to think how I want to handle this because we could potentially. Um, We almost have the mats. You know what? I think I might do. I wonder if we can kite this abomination to the meadows. He just wants nothing to do with me now, apparently. Alright, let's just, let's just go this way. Come, knock down a new tree if you're not going to go and do that one. Okay, game. <laughs> His arm just went through multiple ancient trees and didn't do anything. Hello. All right, all right, all right. I'm dead, am I? No. Oh my god, we someone dodged all that. Don't tell me we got bad drop rate and we just got two. There's no way. There we go, there we go. Alright. Now, if we can get this guy to come to Meadows, there would be something else. Maybe just let him chill there for a sec. I think we're too fine with a way being able to make a bonfire, which would be the fast fastest way to kill this guy by far. more fine wood we do have to wait yeah i'm gonna try and kite him i think i think that's the move and some meadows like pretty close over there even maybe we try and take him that way because we gotta wait anyway right What's up, Carmelo? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good. Oh, we can kill him naturally. 
But again, we have to wait anyway. So. Still following us nicely. If we get really lucky, we might even find a troll. Keep coming, bro. Where are you at? Where are you going, bro? Don't go away. Follow me. Yo. Thanks for stopping by the stream, Carmelo. I hope you're doing good, dude. Will he not come? They just don't leave. Will he just not ever leave? Should do. Oh my god! Ah, the fucking drog is stunning me. Now he's gonna run all the way back. Fucking mob RNG again. It's bullshit, dude. Right. Uh. Still need to smell a bit more, don't we? Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 19 20. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. Six. I know, yeah, we still need some wood. Um that's frustrating now. But it's not a ton of time loss. Only a little bit. If we're lucky, the abomination got kited by some mobs. It's still over here. Oh, did it work? kind of works. That's awesome, Solo. Glad you like the game, dude. Come on, Abomination. Follow me, please. All right. I, I'm just going to go back. Going to go back.
Are you, uh, what sort of DJ are you solo? Maybe. Do you have Discord? Um, hang on. Are you a popular DJ in Mumbai? Or are you just uh, uh, some random guy in the chat asking me to play. <laughs> it's hard to know sometimes. Um. Oh my god, I'm stuck. No! Oh yeah? Well, um, they send me a, send me a link to some of your music on, uh, on Discord and, and, um, if, if you're legit, I'll check your stuff out and, and we'll, uh, We'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out, dude. But I can't just let anyone... Sometimes just people ask to play in the chat all the time, you know? And I don't, and I don't know who they are. I can't just say yes to anyone. But I would be up for that. Potentially. Um... What was I doing? Can you shoot down glowing green things in the trees with arrows? I actually don't know. I don't think so. You can mine them with your pickaxe though, and that's how you get gook to make like the best. Uh... I forgot what I was even doing now. All right, we, we gotta make sure we have enough coal, don't we? We only have six left to do, right? So Twelve should be enough, I think. Um, right, okay, so now I might have solos or why it was a long time ago when I was into PUBG and stuff. But it's okay, dude. That's we're not going to if you can uh, send me a message on Discord. There's a link to my Discord in the description. You can just send me a DM on Discord. 
and uh, just link me to your music and stuff, and I'll, I'll check it out. And, and if it's legit, we can uh, configure something out, dude. Thanks, Wolf. I appreciate that. Yeah, I know depression. This will be really good if we can get this abomination to get some fine wood for us. Wrecking <laughs> gray dwarfs, anyways. Come this way, come, come, come. All right, we're doing this slowly. Remember, we're also cooking some iron as we do this, so. Heavily multitasking here. Oh. He really likes to smash things. It's kind of like Hulk, this abomination. Come on, don't turn around now. No, 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 no. Come. It's <laughs> so trippy, this abomination. Right, he's got there's a mob for you, for you to eat. Are you not hungry? Eat some grey dwarfs. I think I can, oh no! Oh. I turned around for a second. We can't spawn the elder on him because... We're not trying to kill him, first of all. We're trying to get him to get some fine wood for us. Um, but also, we don't have any ancient seeds. He should kind of stay there. I think. Because we're not there. He should kind of stay still. We should be alright. He's so very, very close to the meadows now. Oh, 
Oh yeah, most mobs will. But also, despite popular belief, most mobs don't really do much when you're not in the area. Yeah, he's here. We're Gucci. Nah, I don't play FIFA. Yeah, not long till Elden Ring now. I'm hyped. See you, Wolf. Thanks for watching the stream. I appreciate it. Turn around, don't turn around. Good. Check something real quick. Oh man, this post is turning into swamp annoyingly. Come this way. Oh my god, this great wolf almost got me killed. Um, find wood now. But when you get more, I'll take more, obviously. See the meadows.
What's up, Jonathan? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. Ooh. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's just fighting stuff. The server stream was fun. Thanks, Jonathan. We uh, toured some awesome new things that the guys have built on the server. And we... Uh, Started to spruce up the trophy room a little bit. I can't see stuff. Yeah, I'll play every day. Unless I'm uh, working on a video or something. Wow. We died to the tree. Alright, this isn't going to happen solo because you're just behaving like you're just some kid from chat that wants to to play with me now. You, you, if you're not capable of just doing what I said, then you're not legit. Sorry, dude. I literally said like we're not going to talk about it in the chat. If you're legit, you just send me a message to stuff on Discord. End of story. But then if you seriously expect that full-time content creator is just going to drop his schedule to play with you the next day, then there's no way you're legit. This pace was definitely world record pace. This is definitely slowing us down a little bit. But it still could be world record because we have oh, two solid hours that would be easy to save in the world record. So, still, still big potential. Be a new world record.
It's a shame there's not. He's dying, is he? What's happening? Huh? Maybe just can't fit through. Take him, take him this way. It's annoying that I kind of Oh, come on It is in a bit of a weird spot Oh, there's one right there Literally Oh my god, he's destroying a boar. Come on, get me this birch, please. Try and get him to get more if we can before I kill him. Oh my god, they're so thin he keeps missing them, it's kind of hilarious. Come on, Abomination. You can do it. I will say you're not quite as good an employee as the troll. But I won't hold it against you. Man's got to earn a living somehow. Wow. That's all. Overkill. All right, dude. Thirteen. There has to. Be. Don't tell me we're getting such low drop rates. We are getting super low drop rates from the. That's fine. Wood there. Right, 15. <clears throat> Way more exciting than watching you roll up than the trees. Roof. Oh no, I didn't repair it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Ow. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm not dead. We gotta turn auto collect off for a second, otherwise this isn't going to work.
No, are you fucking serious? No! What killed me? Some fucking random grade walk just threw a rock at me or something. The root helmet gives you poison resistance. But we're also using the abomination to get some core wood. Sorry, to get some fine wood because not only does that give us fine wood. For the bonfire to kill more abominations in the future. But. That is enough. Uh, fine wood to make a fine wood bow as well. Which will also speed up the modder segment. And we're on pace. I think it saved a lot of time in the modder segment, which is where we had the most time loss in the world record. Although we're definitely going to be a, have a bit of a slower bone mass segment, but we should be able to catch up. Yeah, exactly, Richard. Gang, hell yeah. Easy clap. Uh, I, th I guess we're not going with. one more somewhere there we go okay uh thanks for landis i appreciate that dude oh was it about why we do we need to kill the abomination is that what the question was What's up, Dory? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. If it was, so we need the abomination. Um, the root mask is resistant to poison, which allows us to just live a little bit longer during the bone mask fight.
You're welcome, dude. I hope you're doing good, Dory. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Drop this actually. Our resin situation is extremely good. Should be able to get a lot more feathers. Our arrow situation in general is epic. We're, a hundred, we're definitely on pace for a faster modder segment. We just gotta hope we find modder in a decent time and she's in a good spot. Um, but now we can, uh, thanks all. I appreciate that, mate. Have a good day. Not that good, but I'm an optimist. Well, I like, I like that. I like the uh, attitude. Yeah. I'm great, thanks, dude. Trying to see if we can kill this Grogo with this. <laughs> Odd Rogers. Yeah, look. Enemies are so dumb. The bonfire is clutch. They try and run through everything. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to finish him off. Okay, so I've got extra core wood because now we can make a fine wood bow and we don't need this. Um, now we can also um, we need Welcome back, Wolf. God damn it. Ah! Damn it. Always the devil. So, uh, we're gonna need some coal also, aren't we? Should be some coal in there, right? Or no? No.
I was listening out for getting four of four coal. I'm dead. Nope. Nineteen. Oh. That's good. That's good. That's really good. Oh, um, we need at least some wood, don't we? Uh, I'm dead though. This is good though, actually. I mean, it mean like that means that we can actually quickly. Honest before we leave. Fucking kidding me, dude. Oh, come on, dude. Draugas, I think, are my least favorite enemy in the whole game. That collision on their racks seems so, like, scuffed somehow to me. I don't know why. But I always find it hard to see where the, is the tip of his axe is actually hitting exactly. I forgot I've got Colts run. Yeah, they do. Should be good now. Okay, uh, what, what, 
How much more do we need? 18. This is actually going good. We've had a, a couple of tricky things to deal with. Well, it's actually, this run is actually going very well. I was gonna say it's over here, right? This, this, this. Yeah, no, they, they are kind of a really funny, kind of clumsy mob to the size. They are my favorite mob, though. I think they're really cool. But yeah, they, they definitely do some funny stuff. Officially stacked <laughs> from in uh, speedrun terms, anyways. Um, so this is where things start to get tricky because we're carrying a lot of stuff that we actually uh we don't need necessarily but we don't need those do we oh hang on one call for a bonfire is probably a sensible thing to do. Um, yeah, although we're going to need to get Um, bark again at some point. So now we just head out, I think. Actually, we don't need this either. Is it worth doing that? It's not worth it, is it? No more games to fight in them anymore. chat
that wasn't that was a, a pretty good sort of swamp segment um so far obviously we're not quite finished it but you know there's nothing left to do except kill bone mass so um but yeah it could have been faster but we got to bear in mind that we also got a fine wood bow out of that and we're still way ahead um with arrows and well just arrow stuff mats in general we're actually stacked so hopefully we don't get serpented I want to test out a strap for this bit chat I'm zooming in so I'm, I can't see my peripherals because on, on the world record there was actually a point where I did actually see a serpent at the side of my screen but I never noticed it because it was just in the corner of my eye and I'm kind of wondering if they never aggro if you don't actually properly look at them because when um I did the vegan run when I used a cart to traverse the ocean. I also never en encountered a serpent then. At least no storm. <laughs> and then there it is. Through Felix. Thanks for stopping by the stream, dude. I hope you're doing good. But yeah, when I was in the cart, it seemed like I was invincible to, to uh, serpents as well. Like they never showed up. And I couldn't figure out why. But so now I'm thinking. Maybe. If you don't point the camera at them. Maybe they don't aggro. This is a completely unconfirmed strat. But that's why I'm zooming in. On the ocean now. All right, this is a live one, a live, a live run chat. Um, if we see a good mountain, we might want to check it. Um, we're heading towards the third boss that we found on the last island whilst also trying to find the other bosses ideally as well. Right now, I'm, I'm basically heading to this island. Kind of hoping this is also Black Forest, as there's so many structures to get a fast bed down in Black Forest. There is a, a build height limit in the game, yeah. I can't remember what it is, though.
you can build taller stuff with stone and using iron beams and stuff like that but there's there's still a limit Welcome, Katarana. Thanks for watching the stream. I appreciate it. Kind of assumed that the island came around to the side here, but nice. <laughs> nice. Like I said, like with stone and with iron beams and stuff, he can make bigger structures. Oh, thanks, Elmore. Thanks for checking out the run as well, dude. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I still can't believe that that world record run that we did, my current PB that we're trying to beat today. I can't believe it came down to the last arrow of Modder. It's actually insane. <laughs> so insane. You did, Bebo. Thanks for returning to the stream. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching the stream, everybody. I, I, I honestly, I genuinely appreciate it. I know I say it all the time, but I actually do mean it. I, I, I really appreciate everyone tuning in. Whilst I remember as well, considering we're just a few hours in, I, I try to only mention this like a couple of times per stream because I don't want to every stream to just turn into me shilling the Patreon but I do like to remind people a couple of times to stream once we're deep in um, I want to remind everybody all the ways that they can support the content financially because the only reason I am able to put so much time and effort into the speedruns and streams that you guys like to watch is because of the financial support of our community and if you would like to support to help keep the content a reality and help help me live the dream then the number one best way that you can do that is on patreon at patreon.com slash nick rawcliffe patreon allows you to do a monthly donation sort of like a twitch sub except it can be for any amount of money even as little as one dollar and how it works is for example if you were to subscribe at the $1 level right now, you would donate $1 to me right now. And then you'll be donating $1 a month on the first of every month from then onwards. Until you cancel your subscription. And you can cancel it at any time. Anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join my private Valheim server that I pay for. That runs 24-7. And you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community. And you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream when I do server streams like we did yesterday. We usually do those once a month. There is a link in the description on YouTube to the Patreon. Or you can get a link in the Twitch chat by typing exclamation Patreon in the chat. The second best way that you can support the content financially is by doing just regular donations. Donations are actually the best way, though, for you to do a one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest. There is a link in the description to that as well. 
on YouTube and you can also get a link to that in the Twitch chat by doing exclamation donate. The third way that you can support the content financially is over on YouTube. On YouTube, you can support the content financially by doing super chats during the live stream or by becoming a YouTube member by clicking the join button below the stream or video. YouTube members get access to monthly behind the scenes exclusive videos that come out once a month for members. And you also get some emotes and stuff like that. Um, if you are a member, there is a link below the stream to the playlist of exclusive videos. I'll be doing a new one soon. And also don't forget to join the Discord. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos. You can follow me on Twitter at Nick Rockcliffe AF as well. There's a link in the description to that as well. It's the only social media I use really. And yeah, don't forget to smash the like button. I do stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time as well, guys. So if you would rather watch on Twitch, there is a link in the description to the Twitch channel. I'm always live on both at the same time. What else? If you're watching the video right now and you're not watching this live, leave it a nice positive comment. It helps with the YouTube algorithm as well. We're not seeing too much like useful islands and stuff, are we? It's a lot of water, but at least we're making pretty good progress and getting pretty good wind to head towards bone mass. But really, we want to find modder or your buff at least on the way. That would be ideal. I was thinking that was swamp, but it, it could be planes that. Should check that out. I don't want to jinx it, but so far the strat of zooming all the way in. To not get serpented has worked. I guess it is a planes considering this is planes. I need to check what day it is. I keep forgetting my days. Sunday. I plan on streaming this speedrun every day until around. Yeah, it is a planes. Nice. Um, until around Wednesday. Where Wednesday I won't be streaming. Got some other stuff to do. Something else really cool is happening. Oh, wait. This is the first... No, yesterday was the first stream, but I think I didn't mention it. I was on a... Like a Swedish radio... Slash podcast. 
after the after the stream the other day. After we got that world record, it did happen. That was pretty cool. I did post a link to it on YouTube on the community page if people haven't listened to it. We've got a camp, we should check that. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, they were actually really nice people. was actually really chill to do even on no sleep <laughs> oh you're Swedish nice I don't know if a moderator could possibly get the link to the show to post in a Twitch chat. So Kavik can check it out if he wants to. Alright, we definitely have a totem there. So that's good. Oh, Idiotech is as well. Nice. Did you guys hear the radio show or do you want a link to it? It's like a 10 minute, 5, 10 minute interview or something. But their, their, that episode of their show was like 35 minutes long or something. The interviews at like 10 minutes in ish. Which channel? I can't remember the name because it's in Swedish. But I can get you a link in a sec. Or maybe a, a Twitch mod could post you a link. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Fluffy. Oh, you heard it. Nice. Could somebody potentially post a link in the uh, YouTube chat as well? It's the one in YouTube asked as well now. Thanks, Fluffy. I appreciate that, dude. I think there's only one, right? Thanks for the follow on Twitch. I really appreciate that, dude. Wait, I can actually post the link. From that link, Fluffy. Thanks, dude. Did I post it? There we go. I posted the link chat. Should be in both chats. Thanks, Fluffy. Appreciate that, dude. Oh, God. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, fuck. Alright, two totems. That's clutch. No, that's like, I love that question though, Reese. I like MF Doom. 
It's the gladiator helmet. That's what my logo is. But that's just a, a happy coincidence. It's similar to the, the Doom mask. But obviously the MF Doom one is uh, based on the Doctor Doom mask. Um, and the original Doctor Doom mask is actually based on a gladiator helmet. I wanted my logo to be some kind of helmet. Um, when I actually made it. And um, I just wanted a helmet that kind of looked kind of badass in some way. Oh, damn. Well, I don't think there's a point in using a portal any anymore. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't find that much sooner. Yeah, I just wanted a helmet, but I didn't want just any or any normal helmet. I wanted it to look kind of badass, you know. And that was just the best kind of helmet I could find. That I like the look of. And it's also appropriate. You're welcome, Kavik. I think the gladiator helmet is an appropriate symbol of what we do here. <laughs> no way. Could check that mountain, I guess. It doesn't look great, but we could still check it potentially. Your know, gladiators would fight to the death for the entertainment of the masses. And I Torture myself in video games for the entertainment of the masses. <laughs> so that's what the logo is about. Cool question though. Respect. Rest in peace, MF Doom. No worries, Wolf. Thanks for stopping by again. Do you want to buy eventually when we're actually making money with this stuff guys eventually i do want to have kind of like a, a set for my backdrop and i want to buy um i want to buy an you know like a, a recreation of a gladiator helmet to have behind me i think it would look sick Thanks, Reese. I appreciate that, dude. That's right, Papa. Yeah. Welcome to the chat. It would be kind of perfect if this wound up actually 
having modder on the mountain because is the, the best scenario is to actually go from meadows to mountain when you want to find modder because a lot like you know it's better for farming for fire arrow mats you're welcome thanks for the look dude i appreciate that Yeah, we got the current world record at 8 minutes 16. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard to save two more hours on that because we got some really bad RNG and definitely possible to get sub five hours. Uh, oh, I see a house. That's nice. Because I don't have to spend time building a structure. Ward resin. We did not get the leather. Um, three, four, five. Sorry. It doesn't matter. You make up for it. Here. Many people running RC Valheim? Nah, not really. It's going up again though now since my channel's been growing in popularity again. Um, at the minute, for a while now, Valheim speedrunning has kind of been living and dying with the popularity of my channel, kind of. Uh, so like yeah if i do a, if, if the speedrun streams are getting a lot of viewers seem to like so more people seem to start running it again elijah also played it the last couple of days really Was he trying to speedrun or was he playing just for fun? I would love it if Elijah started running this game. That'd be so cool. Okay, yeah. I know that he, I, I, Elijah was actually who I watched play this game first before I bought it when it came out. Um, but it would be sick if he started to speedrun it. That would really turn things up a notch for the speedrun community, I'm sure. Plus. Me and Archie would actually have some good competition. <laughs> like, help getting the time down as a community would be great. From an experienced speedrunner. Same MLS. Same dude. Elias is a great streamer. Um, but yeah, I used to watch him speedrun Dark Souls ages ago. Oh, I dropped something that I shouldn't have. Yeah, that's right. At one point in Valheim, we had a lot of people running New Game Plus when, when I used to originally run New Game Plus all the time. 
and um, we were almost in at one point the top 10 most like most popular games on speedrun.com in, in terms of the quantity of runners at the time pretty close to the top 10 i forget where it was but it, it's like everything i think like in general people just like to see um A load of new strats be discovered before they start running it again. And when it's kind of just me, sometimes one or two other people, but that's basically it. Um, it's just a slow. We are. I am gradually discovering new strats, but it's a slow. You know, that mountain actually looks pretty good. Um. I'm wondering if I should go for it. I'm running naked in the mountain because I'm doing a speed run and it's faster. And I just wanted to check if there was anything useful on the mountain and there isn't. So now, now we leave. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch, Joey. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I I would absolutely love it if a big speedrunner actually started running this game. It would be so cool to see. Even just to watch, like even just as a viewer, I would love to watch that. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, Faki. I appreciate that, dude. Um, it's pretty much equidistant between that and that on bone mass. But I think I'm still gonna go check it because I mean. We could actually be farming much more resin here, but probably don't actually need to. There is a two-man speedrun category for this game, yeah. <clears throat> Got some world records in that for before half and home. If, so, if there is an update, though, that kind of cracks this game wide open speedrun-wise or or something um, like that, then uh, I guarantee so, like at least a couple of the really good runners that used to run it will come back. But the, the, the main issue in terms of that is that this category I'm running right now is the category everybody wants to be the main category because it's obviously the most lit, like is this run is kind of more like what somebody expects um, when they Google like Valheim speedrun or whatever. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch, uh, Les LeBow. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, just because this is the one where we start from fresh and do all the bosses, but it's such a grind right now. Um, even if you get a really insane time, it's such a grind right now because of how long it is. But if this category could actually be made even shorter, <clears throat> the dream would be if this category was like sub 90 or something. And uh, I'm pretty confident that if that happened, 
many people would start running this game. Yeah, that would be fun, look, look, so it is actually really fun to do some multiplayer speedrun streams. And I'm going to be doing some multiplayer speedrun streams at some point in the future, soon, TM. Uh, with some special guests. I don't know when it's happening yet, but you'll have to wait and see. It's going to be epic. What's up, Bugs? Thanks for stopping by the stream, dude. Hope you're doing good. We found bone mass, but I'm, I'm trying to find modder along the way so that when we do bone mass, we're not going to just end up being lost, just exploring some random direction. Right, this mountain looks pretty decent. Hopefully, we have a good chance of uh, finding the model location on it. I'm actually amazed how good this run is actually going. Just because, you know, <laughs> RNG is really an enemy in this run. It's so easy for it to just be an instantly a dead run by not being able to find something. But if we can find modder, we know it's a live run until we have to find Yag at least. Would it ever be worth getting a carve? Well. Potentially. It's much more likely to end up being worth getting a long ship. But yeah, like a lot of the stuff that we don't make in the game, in, in this game, in this run, it's not like it's never potentially worth it. You should be able to run this game fine on a decent laptop, yeah. Um, yeah, it's more just like what kind of RNG you get to determine how long you're going to be spending at each moment because smelting is really the problem you don't want to have to do smelting much more than once but the thing is it totally depends on what kind of RNG you get it, so it kind of depends what people mean I guess it, it's conceivable that there would be a run where it would be worth crafting many many more things but I'm trying to grind for a, like so for example sometimes people will try certain strats because they see me doing certain things and and they see me sometimes when people are watching my runs right they are watching me deal with bad rng and they're thinking oh but if you just made this and that or did this and that it would actually be faster but that's pointless because i'm not i'm trying to use strats because i'm trying to get the fastest run conceivable period i'm not just trying to beat my times if you know what i mean but trying to, if you were just trying to, let's say, 
you, you play the game, it's pretty easy to wind up playing this game pretty normally and then and doing it in like less than 18 hours if you're trying to do do a speed run but you're not doing speed on tracks if that was your pb and then you were just trying to pb over and over yeah like you could still continue to pb for a long time and, and it can still continue to make many things maybe you gradually would reduce the things you were making or something but we're trying i'm trying to run sort of more optimized in a way that if i just use these strats over and over and over and over we'll be able to get a sub five hour and a sub five hour wouldn't be possible if you're stopping and making a lot of stuff are we doing the bosses in order probably not but we don't know yet we just do them in whichever way it winds up being faster and it's not the same every time it just depends where the bosses end up being located oh another camp and another totem which puts us on three out of five so that's really good as well Get a bed down just to be safe. Chat up has kind of given up scrolling automatically for some reason, annoyingly. Now, there isn't a totem in every camp, it's random. I've seen as many as four in one before, though, which is insane. Alright, we shouldn't even bother collecting more cloud berries, really. Where was the what totem that I saw? It must have been. Over here. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, I'm good, I think. Lots of uh, fuelings and totems is not good. Those are the ones that will one shot easy. Um, I'm logging out right now to refill my stamina. So I don't have to just run out of stamina and die right in front of them. So this is really good. I only came here really to explore this mountain, but we've wound up multitasking. Which is really good. Alright, we might die here to this Tesquito, but it's okay because we got out of the camp and we got a bed down. There is a, a tower right next to it, which also have a pretty high chance of having a totem, so. I'm trying to go around the Deskitos.
now I'm lucky enough to de aggro him. To give me a little bit of a chance on at least getting my bow out. But yeah, if anyone ever sees any like big speedrunners trying to speedrun this game, definitely let me know. I would love to see that chat. Oh god. Right, let's check. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away, locks. <laughs> Check this. I think there's probably less chance these ones have it, but it. Yeah, let's not go in there. That's death. Okay, right, let's uh, check out this mountain. It looks pretty hefty from up here. as good a spot as any. Building on like weird crooked surfaces can actually be a huge waste of time sometimes. Bro. Did I just figure out... <laughs> A way faster way to put a spawn down. That's actually insane that that worked. Um, okay. I'll pretend like that was all planned. Oh, I shouldn't have actually dropped that. That was pointless dropping that. Could have used it. Doesn't matter though. Um, Some stuff's going to start falling down, isn't it? So what I'm doing here, in, in case it's not clear, is I'm dropping everything except food and a single item. Because... Food is going to give me more health and stamina for in the mountain. I want to die because I want to put a corpse run down so that I can activate corpse run that will heal me whilst I'm on the mountain. Then I want to be carrying one item after I've eaten so that when I die again, I will leave another tombstone down so that we can actually corpse run again. And the reason I don't want my other items is that if this mountain ends up not having what we're looking for and we die up here with all my stuff, I won't have to climb back up here just to find my stuff again. We can just kill ourselves and leave. I think I might have just discovered a new strat though, chat. With the. That's a very small amount of wood to make a bed, isn't it? Um. Alright, now my corpse run is over. I'll log out to refill my stamina. Logging out would remove my corpse run, so we don't use relog when corpse run is active. Uh, 
Thanks, Samba Seeker. I appreciate that. Thanks for the look. And thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Alright, so all we want, chat, is to just look for a structure that could potentially have a modder rune on it. The mission of the first life in the mountain is to find a structure. Because even if you die without getting to the structure, then we know where we're going from there. Well, fortunately, we've seen two structures, but neither of them are the ones that have a rune inside, but... The bright side of that is simply that that means that this is a decent enough mountain to have several structures on it. Oh, there's a good structure. Uh, I think that might actually be too short though. Yeah, I think that is not good. Wait, that's a good one. There, right in the middle of the screen. Right, we so we found one. Mission accomplished. So you want them towered style structures. Which is what that is there. So we, we should try and mark this. I don't but we should if we maybe leave a corpse from there. We can just run straight towards that corpse run then. And then that should give us enough juice to get to the tower. So that's pretty much perfect. How you do it? Having a workbench will actually prevent our items from despawning as well. Oh, thanks, Christian. That's really nice of you to say. Thanks a lot for watching the stream. Really appreciate that. enough so yeah uh should try and avoid this straight if we aggro it it could be a huge problem but i don't yeah it's not going to happen i think um just you alone enough by this point <laughs> Yellow. 
Hopefully we can lose this Drake, but we probably can't. I'll just be happy if we can collect this next corpse run. How long have I got until my Eek Fear is ready? Let's see. Ages. We're not going to make it to the corpse from. I don't think so anyway. Going to be close. But. Hopefully we can do it with our next life if not. Drake kind of got in the way a little bit. Not happening. Well, we've got two tombstones up there now. It's okay. It was going pretty much perfectly until that life, so can't complain at that. And if this has modder on it. We might be on pace for world record anyways. It's really the last split, though, chat, where we're looking to catch up. I wonder if I can actually just go around instead. Hopefully this should be the one. Oh, 
Oops, don't quit. Log out. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good now. We're also going to have to get lucky with the last boss as well. We will record, but that's always the case. It's not really... It's barely worth saying, frankly. It's not literally always the case in this game. This drake actually could be a good thing. Uh, sorry, this golem could be a good thing. Because it could distract the drake. But I don't even know where the drake is now. Maybe it is distracted by the golem. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? That must be a different one. Oh, I think I'm going to have to log off. Otherwise, I'm dead and I'm not losing this height that we got by going around there. So it's going to be clutched to get to that structure. So I'm going to just eat that last little bit of corpse run. looking good it's logging off for stamina again which will also delay drake attacking us a bit more and then we hope this building has the modder rune It does. She's here. Fuck yeah. That is a big pog. There's a building right next to it even. I wonder if we should actually move our yeah, yeah 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 we should move our spawn to be like here it looks like we've got a bit of a meadows there or something hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah fluffy no worries, dude. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, mate. Have a good night. That is epic. So, um, we should move our spawn. Let me just make sure we've not dropped anything super valuable. I think we're good, right? Um, the 
probably actually sleep. I, I won't have stone actually, will I? No, we're not sleeping. Um. Yeah, we can make it easier. Oh, so what is, what's in here? It must be. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's wood. I'm not something I need to finish the rock. Um. Yeah. Obviously, it's really close to the edge. Um. Yes. Oh my God! Praise our own Jesus, chap. Praise him. How do you deal with the cold during the modder fight? We build a shelter and stay inside it with a, a fire lit. Um. Oh, weird. It's the planes. Slash meadow slash black forest. Ah, no, no modder, no uh, you go through in though, fortunately. All right, we do want to keep. Uh, honestly. Actually, I don't think we actually need more resin. Which I, I've never said that. <laughs> Ever. On this speed run. But I think we actually don't need any more. Maybe. But yeah, obviously, Modder is actually all the way on the other side, so... I'm very happy that my Valheim science is good enough that I was right to go to this mountain. I saw it was a decent height, multiple peaks. We got to check it and boom. I have my bow out because... We can't see if there's a Deskito in front of us because of all the trees and stuff, so. Just in case. There's a tower down there. And a village. Hmm. Uh, these ones almost never seem to have a totem. didn't get yag yet we haven't fought bone mash yet either but we he is next to us we stopped to check this mountain along the way and it had modder on it so it's still a really good pace um Oh god. Top it. Um It doesn't look like there's a totem. So I'm gonna leave and go this way. Take a wide berth from that tar pit as well.
Thanks, Chris. I really appreciate that, dude. Thanks for watching as usual. Yeah, the last arrow was insane. It's so insane. That is how it ended. I still can't believe it. It's like one of the best endings ever. <laughs> Yeah, I was super happy with that run. And super happy people have been enjoying watching the video. I'm just super happy with how things are going in general, chat. Really appreciate everybody's support. It's been... So much hype. I know it was getting so I honestly don't know if we if that arrow didn't do it I don't think we could have dismantled enough of the shelter to make another arrow without modder actually seeing us which obviously would have still been possible but it <laughs> definitely would have been dodgy very risky to say the least I don't like this. I don't like being amongst the trees like this. I feel like I'm going to get wrecked. By a stealthy Dasquito in the shadows. Go off to one side. Uh, no totems. Okay. It's all good though, we're multitasking, right? Yeah, look at this dude. It's lurking in the shadows. They do be lurking. Uh oh. Where'd he go? He is aggroed on those Grey Dwarfs. The goo's going to occupy the fuelings. The worst is when we go, oh, it's safe. Finally, Meadows. And then frickin'... It's just like on the I think it was actually on the world record run wasn't it that it ended up that we, we was like oh it's gonna be safe over there there's some meadows and there was two loxes and a deskito there no multiple deskitos and right, let's get nice and close to where modder actually is it should make it easier Well, this, these are a good source of core wood. And stone for the speed run. A little tip there. But we don't need core wood anymore. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to get pretty high up with the bed, hopefully. Because this looks like it's still technically meadows, right? Yeah. Well, um...
See if we can recreate what I just did before. Not quite. Still, that was still pretty good. Um, can I? How is this gonna work? Probably still gonna wind up. Um, going down here to make our arrows, though. Wood. And we get it from saplings because you can basically one shot sapling with an iron mace. And it also drops um, resin. And we want both to make fire arrows. So the, the, the reason we've been getting saplings and looting every chest is to get as many arrows and as many feathers as possible. So we never have to kill birds. I can't believe this is happening at this point in the run. This is so fucking hype. If we're really lucky. We might not have to make any other arrows other than fire arrows. So we do have a lot of arrows in general. Also 100 flint arrows now. Such good loot. It's insane. Then poison arrows are going to do a lot of damage as well, of course. You just have to pray there's enough eggs on the mountain as well. We already have more arrows than basically than we did going into that fight on the world record chat. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, 
What's up, Wolf? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. Right. I think that's it. And I think we are actually good. I don't think we need any more types of arrow, which is just wow. What a crazy run. Um, oh, actually, we could do with that wood from that. We don't need the flint anymore. Um, maybe we should repair. We're going to need a lot of wood to build at the top of the mountain. Yeah, we're not handicapped by the mistlands as well. That's a good point. Um, also. Yep. Hello? I don't really need to repair this, honestly, but we need wood anyway, so it's not really a problem or anything. Actually, drop when you um, we might need the core wood still, all right? Yeah, nothing basically. So, yeah, we gotta just technically we can pick, drop that, but it's not really. I think I don't know. Nah, that's fine. We're, go we're going to have to chop some water on the mountain, which is what I was trying to avoid, but that's also, it also doesn't really matter. You know? We have our eek there ready as well, so this is perfect timing. Hopefully this mountain segment goes well. And if it does, we're on pace for world record. Let me actually see what is in this. All right, nothing. Basically nothing. Needs a roof. clear out these drakes uh it's a uh, slash um it's not slash skill it's slash die We'll do it with corpse run. 
<laughs> That's an amazing roof, by the way. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> There's an improvised roof. <laughs> Just spam clicking so I don't die. No! No! He must have just destroyed my bed when we were loading. No, chat. Rip will record. Splish. That's it. <laughs> well, it was good whilst it lasted. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it was fine as well when we died. It must have happened at, like, like while we were loading. Oh, well. Uh, it, that was a really good run. I got, that was the first attempt as well for the day chat, so. Can't complain at that. But yeah, Efton chat for new world record. That's a dead run. That is a dead run. Um, let's actually just see. Uh, what the possibilities were. Um, so we only had to find your glove. So. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we did get the spawn point, but maybe not. I can check. I definitely thought we did. How do we do what? We, we do uh, press F5. Bring up the commands. Enable dev commands. We're doing go to commands right now to travel across the map. Trying to travel to a planes. To uh find your glove. Honestly, it's a really good sign that that went, run went so well. I'll tell you what, we can actually check. Yeah, look, we, it, it did work because our spawn point has been moved. So it did work. So it definitely destroyed our bed. Right, I will be wrapping it up after we've explored this seed just to see what was possible. So I'm going to spend one last time just remind you guys. The only way I can keep doing these streams and videos for you guys, the way I'm able to put so much time into it. Is because of the financial support that I get from our awesome community. And if you would also like to support the content financially to help keep it a reality and help me live the dream then you can do so on patreon at patreon.com slash nick there is a link in the description 
on YouTube, or you can get a link by doing an exclamation Patreon in the Twitch chat. Patreon is the number one best way that you can support the stream, and it works by sort of like a Twitch sub where you can do a monthly donation. For example, if you were to subscribe at the $1 level right now, you would donate $1 to me right now. And then you'll be donating $1 a month on the first of every month from then onwards until you cancel your subscription and you can cancel it at any time. Anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to my private Valheim server that I pay for that runs 24 seven. And you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community. And you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream when we do server streams. Again, link in the description to the Patreon and YouTube, or you can get a link in the Twitch chat by doing exclamation Patreon in the chat. The second best way that you can support the content financially is by doing donations. Uh, donations are the best way for you to do a one-off contribution. Um, because your money actually goes the furthest for the donations. There's a link in the description to that as well. Or if you do exclamation donate in the Twitch chat, you'll get a link to that. And last but not least, you can support the content financially on YouTube by doing super chats during the live streams or by clicking the join button and becoming a YouTube member. And YouTube members get access to monthly exclusive behind the scenes videos where I explain things about speedrunning or how I make videos and do the occasional sort of vlog. We've got a behind the scenes from the Vegan Valheim challenge on there. We've got a um, vlog of me going to get some fish and chips. Me showing you how to learn different speedruns for different games. Stuff like that. Also, don't forget to join the Discord. It's the number one best way. I don't think we would have got world record on this seed looking at it, guys, anyway. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos. There's a link in the description to that as well. Yeah, you do get it in the $1 one. It doesn't matter which tier. Everybody, any patron at any level gets it. Everyone gets the same rewards. Just the same as well for YouTube memberships. I don't have like tiered rewards because I don't want to incentivize people to spend money they don't have. And I want people to just, if they like the content enough, to want to donate money each month to help keep making it. I want them to do it because they want to help keep the content around, not just because they're trying to get some reward. So every YouTube, I have a 199 tier that's crazy cheap on YouTube and a 499 tier for memberships. And no matter which one, you get the same rewards. And on Patreon, you can do literally any amount of money on Patreon. That's just how Patreon works. So even if you do a dollar, you get all the same rewards. That's just how I like to do it. I think it's the most fair because I view all of this as crowdfunding. And to me, that's what crowdfunding is kind of about not kind of gouging to make the most money out of people <laughs> yeah there's such a like a low spawn rate of your gluth runes i don't know how we would have ever done this it's actually crazy So, probably, wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. But, I don't know, you never know. It's, we don't know until we actually properly find the bus. What's the red on the map? Oh, that's Ashlands. I made a video all about Ashlands. If you've not seen it, you should check out my Valheim 
videos playlist on my YouTube homepage. I've got a video all about Ashlands. Ashlands is actually very cool. It is like an unfinished biome. Sort of like Mistlands, but it is way more finished. There's actually a couple of things that you can kind of do in Ashlands. There's much more. There is actually some stuff there. And it looks really cool as well. Storm seeds, it just gets so bad that there's just there's no Yag rune, you know? So you either just have to run into him or it's a dead run. And we might have been able to get I'm really confident we would have been able to get an amazing modder rune on this run. Uh, modder segment, sorry. On this run, and it was totally on pace for that, but it wouldn't have mattered. If we didn't find Yag, obviously. We can double check our bed whilst we're here as well. It's actually amazing how many stone circles we've checked with no rune on it. I think this seed was actually a bit scuffed. Even though it was went so well. Yeah, look. Man, it's quite the angle that that Drake managed to get, right? How crazy is that? <laughs> yeah, when I first played the game, I never even found the Yag room when I killed Jag. I just found Yag. I checked so many planes and explored for so long. And I just never found a rune. Uh. Oh, is that where it is? Thank you. Most of them, Chris, but not 100%. Yeah, I mean... I... Uh, yeah. It would have been tough to world record that. If not impossible. The thing is about just checking where the location is. First of all, thanks, Joe. I appreciate that. That is useful. But the problem with that is, was, well, we still don't know this why, like, where the runes were to know where he was, if you know what I mean. So it seems pretty unlikely we could have actually got world record, I think, chat. But thanks for posting that in the chat. That's helpful. But if you think, like, we just checked this island, right? So maybe, what, we checked this island or this island? Like, it's conceivable that what where we would have maybe actually checked... You know what I'm saying? And like so far, every planes that could have conceivably checked did not have a rune. Yeah, I have. I've fought him right in the middle of places and right next to the. A mountain as well, even so. Yeah. 
I would say maybe this could have been world record, but it would have been. Oh my god, there's not even one here. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, Papa. I appreciate that. Nah. I reckon this wasn't possible to get world record on chat. Like, well, possible is one thing. But on a random seed run, I, I think it would have been unlikely that, that we, it seems to be one of those bug seeds with no, basically no rune on it. It's not bugged, it's just sometimes you just get a seed that's literally just the drop rate is terrible on the Yag rune. So, all right, GG's guys. Thanks a lot for watching the stream today. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're watching on YouTube and you'd rather be watching on Twitch, there is a link in the description to the Twitch channel if you want to follow me there. Make sure you sub to my YouTube channel though as well because some of the best content I have is just some YouTube videos and it's also where I post all my PBs as well. I have some crazy challenges. I beat Valheim in reverse. I beat all the bosses with just a flint knife. And the Valheim Vegan Challenge is the single craziest video I've ever made for sure. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button as well. Uh, and if you're watching this as a video, um, don't forget to leave a nice positive comment. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, thanks for all the follows, the subs, and uh, thanks a lot to the super chat that we had earlier today. Um, the one thing about this being a dead run at this time is that I'll definitely be back tomorrow because I'll get enough sleep and we'll do another attempt at getting world record for Valheim new character speedrun. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being with me today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more video games. Bye, guys. Night. Have a good one. Bye.